Hi everyone, it's Terry here from NutsAboutStamping.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a really bright and colorful Bloom by Bloom card. I'm going to create a thank you card, but you can create a card for an occasion you need using a different phrase, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Now, often people ask me where I get my ideas for all of the projects that I create. And really, I get them all over the place. Sometimes from Pinterest, sometimes from a project that I've created in the past and I'm going to recreate, sometimes through card map challenges, and sometimes through magazine ideas. This magazine is one that Stampin' Up! sends to their demonstrators every quarter, and it gives us a lot of ideas. And so today, I'm going to take this box idea and the hinge stamping technique, and I'm going to turn it into a card. So I guess my advice is don't always be held to thinking that you have to get ideas for cards from cards. Think about getting ideas for cards from other projects you see, maybe even a memory keeping or scrapbooking page. So let's start off with the hinge stamping technique. I have my Stamparatus here, and I have a strip of um, Lemon Lime Twist cardstock that I've already set up, and I put the this particular stamp from the Bloom by Bloom stamp set on the plate so it's ready to go for this technique. Now I'm going to do tone on tone, so I'm going to stamp Lemon Lime Twist onto the Lemon Lime Twist cardstock. So I'm going to ink up the stamp and then I'm just going to close the plate, press down, and then lift it up. And then this technique is called hinge stamping because I'm going to lift the plate and I'm going to move it down a notch and then I'm going to ink it up again Hope you can see the yeah, you can see this. And then I'm going to stamp it down. And then I'm going to move my plate down again. Stamp and I'm going to continue all the way down to the bottom of my cardstock. And there we go, I have a really colorful background for my card. And I'll just move my Stamparatus out of the way and I'll clean it in a little bit. So I got a little bit of ink on the plate. All right, so that is going to be a layer on the front of a Whisper White card base. So I will attach that now. By using some snail adhesive. Let's get it lined up. I use my grid paper to help me line up for my placement. Okay, like so. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is bring in a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I have some of the stamps from the Bloom by Bloom stamp set. And I'm going to use Bermuda Bay and Lemon Lime Twist. I love these colors, so I'm going to ink up and stamp down. 
So there's the flower. I'm gonna use that in Bermuda Bay, and then I'm going to use two of the leaf stamps and do lemon lime twist. And then I'm going to take my paper snips. Here they are. And I'm going to cut them out. So I'll be back in a moment. You don't want to watch me cut. So um, I'll stop the video and I'll come back when I have it all cut out and ready to go. All right, I have my pieces cut out. I'm going to just set them aside for a minute and I'm going to bring in my Big Shot and I'm gonna do a bit of die cutting. So for this specific project, I'm going to use my magnetic platform, my bottom standard cutting pad, and then I have one of my circular stitched shapes framelits and I'm going to try and See if I can get this scrap piece to work for me, because I like to use up all of my paper scraps. And then I have a piece of Bermuda Bay um, cardstock, and I have chosen from the absolutely fabulous, well-written framelits dies. This is the framelits, oh, I think they're amazing. There are so many words and other images in here that you can combine. It does coordinate with a stamp set. I actually don't have the stamp set yet. I decided to not buy it as a bundle for, uh, for right now um, because I had some other things that I wanted to buy as well. But I thought I know that I'll use these framelits all the time for phrases. So as I said at the beginning of my video, I need a thank you card. I send thank you cards to everybody who purchases from me at my online store. And so I have to catch up a little bit. So for this video, my card is going to be thanks, but there are many other phrases in the die, in the pack of die cuts that you could do instead, like birthday and happy, friend. So I've got everything set up with my sandwich and I'm just gonna run this through. And I'm actually gonna run it back because the thanks is quite um, delicate and intricate. So I thought maybe the double pressure might help. Let's see, oh, no, that didn't work, but that's okay. So I, I didn't eyeball it properly, but I did have an extra one set off from a project that I used a few weeks ago. Um, so I will use this. Hopefully yours would turn out better than mine. And then I have my Your Pick tool, and I'm just gonna poke out the thanks from the framelit. This tool is really nice to have. It's very handy. I used to use my paper snips, but the blades are a little bit thicker and I like having this tool with a good handle on it. Okay, so there's my thanks. There is my corrected circle. And then let's put it all together, shall we? I decided to use my silicone sheet um, because I wanted to um, adhere using snail adhesive. So I love the silicone sheet because the um, adhesive sticks to the sheet and not the paper, and then I can just rub it off afterwards. So I'm going to start off by doing the stem, and then I'm going to take a piece of, actually, Stampin' Dimensional and put it on back on the back of the flower part. As I, I think I'll pop that up a little bit. And then let's do the second leaf. Maybe I will turn it around this way. Put that flat like so. And then I'm going to bring in the thanks now I had the, um, the adhesive sheet, the multi-purpose adhesive sheet. I don't think I explained that. So I had put it on the back of the cardstock so that when I die cut this out, it would become a sticker. I use the multi-purpose adhesive sheets all the time to create stickers for all sorts of projects. And then I'm going to put the thanks 
across the bottom like so. And then I'm going to bring in, oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> I'm going to bring in my card and I'm going to add this to the center like so. And then there is one final touch that I'll likely do because you know that my New Year's resolution this year, if you've been watching my videos for a while, is that I need to use up all of my embellishments before I can buy any more in the annual catalog that will be coming out in a couple of months. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to add a bow or if I'm going to add a knot. Um, I'll have to figure that out after the video is over. I'll take the time to finish that design piece and then I'll post a final card um, photo over on my blog when the video is over. Um, the blog address is www.nutsaboutstamping.com and while you're over there I'll have a link to my online store so that if you want to order the products I use to make this card you can do so there. And then also I have a newsletter that I send out. It's free. I send it out every week with a project idea you won't find anywhere else. So maybe you'd like to subscribe to my newsletters while you're over on my blog. I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. I hope you'll create something beautiful today too. Bye for now.